Okay, when you're sketching the general shape of each function, um, it is really useful to be aware of what the parent functions typically look like. Okay, so when you have y is equal to x squared, hopefully you know it's an upward facing parabola is the, is the parent graph, right? If you have y is equal to negative x squared, that parent graph would look like this. Um, if you have y is equal to x cubed, that parent graph looks something like this. Right here, I'm going to change the color. If you have y is equal to the cube root of x, oh, here, let me do the negative version first. If you have y is equal to negative x cubed, the negative signs means it's reflected over the x-axis. So if this is negative, this part is now coming down. This part is going up. It's been reflected. So this right here is a negative x cubed. So the general shape looks like this. All right. Now it could end up looking, you know, whoops, did not intend to do that. It could be very curvy, but the general, the general shape kind of looks like that. What do we know about? We know that it's going to be reflected over the x-axis, and we know it touches right down there at negative 6. I don't know very much else about it right now. So on these, when, I, when I'm saying I'm looking for the general shape, I'm looking for, are you aware that this is a negative x cubed? So it will start in the positive uh, on the left side and then go down on the right side. So I might, you know, it might look something like this. Well, we probably don't necessarily draw the same things. So some of you might have drawn it like this. We would both be correct for the general shape of each function. Okay. Um, let's see. Let me clear that out and let's see. I had another one over here. Yeah. So that is a positive x cubed. So I know it's going to touch there and general parent graph looks like this it touches at the origin but now it touches up here so maybe it's doing this or maybe i'm not sure what that graph is but what i do know is that it touches at positive five on the y-axis and this is the general shape so you could do it really curvy you could do it barely curvy but that would still fall under the the guise as the general shape of a function so let's do if you had y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 6 well we know it's a parabola it would touch up there it's it's a positive parabola it would touch up there at 6 so maybe you write it like that. Some of you might write it like that. It would still have the general shape of an upward facing parabola touching on the y-axis at positive six. So that's what it means when, when it says sketch the general shape. We're not, I'm not looking for specific points. I'm looking for are, do you have understanding of what parent graphs look like and do you know where it's going to touch at the y-axis? That's what I'm looking for. All right, I'm going to end this one and then we're going to start the three theorems.